the Cooper Nuclear Station, one of Nebraska's two nuclear power plants, both fighting to keep floodwaters at bay. Or the motors. The man in charge of the country's nuclear regulatory organization says he believes the plants are prepared, but hedges his bets. So this plant in, in Fort Calhoun, it, it seems like they're going to miss the bullet? Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to predict what's going to happen with the water level. Uh, our, our job is to make sure that the, the licensee does uh, their job to make sure the plant stays safe. And uh, right now they appear to be taking uh, proactive steps to do that. Steps that include turning Cooper into a bunker against the rising water. To see more of the tour of the plant, I've got to climb up over a ladder and then down another ladder. And then we're in. The Missouri River is 10 feet higher than where it usually is along this power plant. Another three feet, officials say, and they are required to shut down operations. But plant operators say no matter how high the water, radiation will not leak. I'm 100% confident that we're not going to have an issue here. It continue to, if river level continues to rise, we'll follow our procedures, we'll shut down the plant, we'll do whatever is required to maintain our safety. Fort Calhoun, Nebraska's other nuclear power plant, is reeling from flooding, and authorities temporarily took it off the power grid. Diesel generators kept spent fuel from overheating. A plant worker Sunday accidentally punctured a 2,000-foot-long aquaberm built to protect the plant. Still, officials maintain the facility is safe. Well, the, the plant is uh, is designed when they get to these higher flood levels to um, to use their diesel generators if necessary. Uh, that's just a part of, uh, of their uh, program and their system. And uh, the aqua berm and, and some of the other modifications they've made weren't strictly there to um, ensure the safe operation of, of the facility. Officials say because this is a slow moving disaster, they can stay one step ahead of the floodwaters. But the people who live here say until those floodwaters subside, they'll just have to hope those efforts are enough to keep the nuclear power plant in their backyard high and dry. Patrick Gottman, CNN, at the Fort Calhoun Nuclear Station.